My name is Chad Pritchard and I um, was born in Iowa but raised in Kansas City. Um, I'm definitely an adventurous. I, I uh, like to climb the highest peaks and uh, go the fastest down the hill. I think the biggest struggle in my life that's, that's uh, caused me to go downward spiral was I lost my father at age 12. Um, I think uh, being raised without a father um, had some key uh, variables that were not in my life or instilled at me at, in my teen years that um, probably didn't develop me as a man as I should have. Um, I, I, I decided um, at 18 to join the Army um, and I did that for 11 years. I think uh, com combat in the Army um, definitely um, threw me a curveball. I choose to combat it for years with, with drinking and drugs and self-medication. I didn't sleep well. I didn't um, do well in society. I couldn't have a conversation very well. I, I couldn't do a lot of things. And because, because I just didn't understand it, I just drank more and drank more and drank more and drank more and drank more. Um, and when the booze um, wasn't enough, I did drugs. Cocaine became my drug of choice um, because I could drink more when I did cocaine. I could, and, and, um, and it, was all to, it was all to numb the feeling of war. It was all to numb the feeling of losing my father. It was all to numb the feeling I do believe those choices of drinking heavily and those choices of doing drugs and whatnot every day is what I've always looked at as, as you know, slow suicide. It's, it's not the gun to the head, but it is, it is killing yourself. It was the first time in my entire sober journey that I felt like everybody got me without having to say a word. We're there, we fill the void of drugs and alcohol through sport. We just provide a facility to where there's like-minded people who just like you said, you know, and that's the beauty, whether this is Phoenix or life in general, I hope people find this somewhere, of that there are other people like you and that you're not a bad person for it. As an addict or, or, or as someone like myself that's a combat veteran that's been diagnosed with PTSD, friends kind of help you not get in your head, not fall into that what I call the rabbit hole. Friends help you um, see your worth when maybe you don't. When I actually walked in the building, when I actually got into Phoenix, I, I remember clearly that night um, on Facebook posting that I found a gold mine of sober people and it was beautiful. My future is becoming um, a person that helps others like myself. Um, I have a heart for veterans um, and I don't know exactly how um, it's gonna happen but I, I'm currently going to school. Um, I'm back in college and uh, my goals are to become a physical therapist. And, um, and, and, I, and, and I hope that I can help many because, because many has helped me, you know, there's been there's one right here.